Alright ladies and gentlemen, the Otaku Wolf is back once again to react, to amuse, and to share with all of you. A quick reminder before we begin, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Your support's appreciated. Come and join the pack. Alright! Death Battle. Batman vs. Iron Man. Battle of the Billionaires. I've seen so many versions of Batman vs. Iron Man to see them in Death Battle. Let us see what they have to do for us, yeah? It's time for a death battle! Hey, bats! Now, <clears throat> I can respect a man with a healthy sense of paranoia and billions to spare. But Steve and Nat are really up my ass about this. Take the watchtower offline now. Bruce, you don't want this fight, Tony. It'll be the biggest mistake of your life. I don't think Tony cares. The watchtower is being attacked. Seriously, Bats? I figured out hacking in the second grade. How do you think I got in here? Besides, I'm... <laughs> really, Bruce? This sticks? I thought we were grown ups here. Ready when you are. Freddy, I need Soul's Hammer online pronto. Match my coordinates. I'll try to. Oh. Yeah. Let's talk more action. He's not in there. And I am Iron Man. <laughs> I've got a suit for everything, Bats. Including busting wannabe gods like you. Oh, Bats isn't a wannabe god. Some will argue he is one. Yeah, he's not having it. Maybe just one more. Model 58, the nano armor. <laughs> Snuck it into your body back on the watchtower. Friday, initiate self-destruct. I forgot he, uh, he's pulled that trick before. Friday. I could really use a drink. KO! Oh, come on! You know if they fought naked, Batman would have beat the shit out of him. While Batman is a character defined by his tenacity, preparedness, and utter genius, so is Tony Stark. So neither could rely on that skill set alone to pull them through. And it shouldn't come as a surprise. Batman's standard Batsuit couldn't quite hold up to the firepower of even the most basic Iron Man armors. The Batsuit is surprisingly tough, sure, but it isn't taking hits from a dude that can punch a part Manhattan. And despite Bats having a ton of nifty gadgets, Iron Man's armors were way more varied and powerful. With so many unique and often alien abilities, there was no way Bats could predict all of them. With time, True. you could certainly figure out a plan of attack, but since Tony is just as much a genius schemer as Batman, he could do the same. 
There are lots of cases where he would have won, especially with his ace of the hole, the Hellbat. The Hellbat's raw power and speed absolutely dwarfed the majority of Iron Man's arsenal, and could have killed him immediately were it not for Tony's own trump cards. Like the Godbuster, which was definitely strong enough to contend with it. The Hellbat could take on Darkseid, but a weaker version of the Godbuster could hold its own against Celestials. Darkseid was a being capable of threatening the multiverse with his power and moving many times faster than light, but the Celestials were capable of the same. With an armor that strong, Tony could buy himself enough time to break out all his other tricks, like sneaking nano-armors into Batman's body, phasing through him with ghost tech, draining the Hellbat's power, or just hacking his suit and shutting it off. And with an army of armors at his beck and call, Tony could certainly hold Batman off long enough to employ those strategies. Hell, since he can control them remotely, he technically didn't even need to be there and put himself in harm's way. And remember, the Hellbat used Batman's own life force as a battery. He needed to end the fight quick or else his own armor would kill him first. With Tony throwing an army at him, he didn't have a good way of doing that. Tony just had way too much shit to throw at Batman, while Batman didn't have the time or options he needed to keep up. Batman may have been a god among men, but Iron Man's wealth of gadgets, insanely powerful tech, and greater mechanical experience allowed him to crush the Cape Crusader. True. You might think it's an injustice that Batman's gonna need avenging, but Iron Man was in a whole nother league. The winner is Iron Man. I'm sorry, Boom. Just, no. Hey everybody, I hope no. you enjoyed that episode. If you're looking for something else to watch, we just released a brand new show called Last Laugh on Rooster Teeth. It's all about people trying to make each other laugh and everybody trying not to. Check it out by clicking the box below me. Thanks. Really? Really? Goku Black versus Reverse Flash. Really? Really? You that 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 that's a matchup. I I just no. I, no. This that's not that's not fair. Or that's not fair. That's way the scales are way too tipped there. Just no. No. I that's just mm mm. Okay, uh, just in case, Wiz, Boomstick, we really need the following in death battles, and I'm sure people will agree with me. A, uh, a Seshomaru versus Byaku Yakuchiki, a, uh, Buffy Summers versus Blade, a, a Alucard versus Sebastian, you know, Helsing versus Black Butler. Or, those are the top three that we really need. And we really need those. I, was, I would... I would give my very soul to see those. I was, I'm sure it's not just me. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already subscribed. Leave your comments down below and I will see you at my next reaction. I love you all and there's nothing you can do about it. Until we meet again, adieu.